Nigeria federal government has decried the lack of enabling legislation that provides stiffer punishments for vandals of the government infrastructure and facilities across the country. The Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohammed, during a town hall meeting in Abuja, describes the wanton attack on critical government infrastructure and facilities is an act of terror capable of affecting the economy of the country. He says the town hall meeting will enable Nigerians and government address the incessant and worsening destruction of public property and sensitize communities on the need to expose those engaging in buying pilfered infrastructure that will lead to arrest and persecution. In organizing these town hall meetings, our major objectives are to create in the public mind that government property are indeed citizens' property and so must be protected for the benefit of all. Expose, arrest, and prosecute all those who engage in buying purified infrastructure items along with those bringing such items to them and to sensitize the larger citizenry to support the widespread campaign on the protection and ownership of public infrastructure assets, especially in the railway, roads, and aviation sectors. We have started a recovery of all of these sites, and uh, slowly but surely, we want to evict all trucks, all vehicles from under the bridges. That is our decision. That is the right thing to do. All of this is unlawful. So we are going to need the support, the understanding, and the collaboration of all well-meaning and right-thinking Nigerians to recover all of these things from those who put them to unlawful and uh, uh, improper use. In just we arrested a Chinese, a Chinese company that bought those tracks from them, went to court, court found them guilty. Like, what is the consequence? 200,000 naira. That's the law. So I want to stretch this to show you, as I said, we'll take some extra, extra minutes, to show you that it is just not enough to say stop. It is that there must be consequences. And 200,000 naira consequences is not enough. I think now the national security architecture understood and then underscored the importance of national security assets and our infrastructure assets. So they should step up and members of the National Assembly should quickly enact those laws to ensure that people are punished maximally. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.